Tides in do, dirt south do. Tide, the wash day miracle that gives you the cleanest clothes in town, brings you in person, direct from Hollywood, that zany, lovable clown of clowns, Red Skelton. T-I-D-E, Tide presents Red Skelton. Thank you very much. I, at this time, I would like to thank Jack O'Brien of New York and Kabina Wright for the wonderful things they've said about our television show and you for the nice letters that you've written in and also to Gene Fowler for mentioning me in his book, Snazola. <laughs> well, we got that out of the way. Oh, no, I have something else. I'm making a picture with Mervyn Leroy. Quo vadis, quo vadis, quo vadis. Now, I said it three times. Tomorrow, I get a close-up. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this week, uh, you know, it was Halloween, and my little boy and little girl had an awful lot of fun. They were out in the kitchen, and uh, Richard, oh, he's getting to be a pip, he comes up and he says, uh, Did you have the television set on last night? I says, Yeah. He says, How did it fit? <laughs> <laughs> he came in the other day, and he's doing this. I said, Stop biting your nails. He said, I'm not biting my nails. I'm scratching my teeth. <laughs> And he was eating peanut brittle. I says, where did you get that? He says, out in the kitchen. Grandma's making peanut brittle for trick or treat tonight. And it's peanut brittle. She's eating it. I said, not brutal, brittle. He says, she's got no teeth and it's brutal. <laughs> I said, well, you've had enough candy. Give it to me. <laughs> now, right now, I would like to meet the guy who said, it's as easy as taking candy away from a baby. <laughs> hey, speaking of television and television sets, who do you think I saw on television last week? Has his own program now. Clem Cadiddlehopper, and he's selling real estate. Let's look in on him. What do you think? Howdy. <laughs> Friends. Here it is Sunday again. It seemed like only yesterday it was Saturday. We have some wonderful buys. Have you thought about buying a home out here in California? If you have, we had some goodbyes for you. And when I say goodbyes, I mean goodbyes. <laughs> I'd like to show you this little house over here if you'd like a nice little hideaway. This is really a wonderful hideaway. <laughs> In fact, it's so hidden, I couldn't tell you where it is myself. <laughs> it has some wonderful things. It has stucco windows. And there's uh, one thing about it, there are no pipes under the sink. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You can wash your hands and feet at the same time. <laughs> now, in a few minutes, for the first ten people who call and ask about this house, I'm going to give you the number to call in just a minute. I can't give it to you now because we're short of time. But I will give you the phone number to call in just a minute. So don't leave the set. Stay around because I'm going to give you the phone number just as soon as I get time. I said we don't have time to give it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you in just one minute. This house here, the first ten people who call, call this number. I'll give it to you in a minute. <laughs> We're going to give absolutely free a garbage disposal unit with a year's supply of garbage. <laughs> now, let me call your attention to some of the niceties about this little place. This is in the smog-free area. <laughs> All the smog in this area doesn't cost you a cent. <laughs> now we have another lovely house. This has 27 rooms, and it's located right where they were going to build the freeway, and these people refuse to sell. <laughs> they're ready to sell now. They're ready to sell. The freeway's already it cost $2 billion. It's a freeway, they call it. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyhow, here's the house from the front. Let me show you the inside. <laughs> here is the living room, and over here is the dining room. You'd be surprised the amount of accidents they had before they put that stoplight in the hall. <laughs> now, some people say they're afraid to buy in California because of earthquake. Dick is not true. We do not have earthquakes here. I've been living in... in, in Speaking of 
commercials. You know the type of commercials I get a kick out of on television. Are these guys that sell things and they stop right in the middle of what they're doing to, for the commercial. Here you go. <clears throat> Howdy, friends. <laughs> nice of you to let us stop in on you this evening. I'd like to sing a little song for you now. It's entitled, entitled. <laughs> I took my girl for a boat ride. She wouldn't kiss me, so I paddled her back. <laughs> Waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee walls when an old friend I happened to see. I introduced him to my loved one, and while they were dancing, he stole my loved one from me. Friends, <laughs> do you wake up in the morning more tired than you were before you went to bed? <laughs> do you get them dull aching pains across the small of your back? Do you have rheumatism, arthritis, or lumbago? Do you have very close veins? Are your veins too close together? Do you see spots before your eyes? And then after they're removed, do they leave circles? <laughs> do you have halitosis, which is better than no breath at all? <laughs> Friends, there's no need to suffer. Lay down and die. <laughs> well, have you tried our new vitamins? It comes in the bottle form now, and it's really wonderful. It's not a strong medicine. It's not hard to take. It's nice and gentle to your throat. <laughs> better if you drink it out of the bottle anyhow. But kind of close in like this because it'll take the enamel off your teeth. It's awful good. <coughs> I think you got too much turpentine in it this week. But it's very good if you have horse throat or anything. It just cures hoarseness no time. <coughs> Tennessee walls. You know, I don't have to do this for a living. I've got my own little racket. I smuggle Saratan to men under 35. <laughs> the night they were playing the beautiful Tennessee walls. Red Skelton presents The Pepperettes Didn't Know the Gun Was Loaded. Order! Order in the court! And if anyone asks for a beer, I'll throw them out myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Effie was her name through the way she won her fame, being handy with the gun. She drove them in insane, cause she'd whip out her pistol and shoot most any guy. Can sing out this alibi. I didn't know the gun was loaded, and I'm so sorry, my friend. I didn't know the gun was loaded. Why I'll never ever do it again. Now one night she had a date with the wrestling heavyweight, and he tried a brand new hold she did not appreciate. So she whipped out her pistol and shot him in the knee. Then quickly she sang this plea. I didn't know the gun was loaded. And I'm so sorry, my friend. I didn't know the gun was loaded. So I'll never ever do it again. Soon a millionaire in town started taking every round. She was happy till he said that the mother galley went. So she whipped out her pistol and shot him in the side. Shot the sheriff in the hip And the law and took a hand And made Effie check the sand And she pled Now, Your Honor, now I'm sure you'll turn me loose When you hear my one of you Miss Effie 
should be free. But the sheriff's jealous wife was indignant, yes indeed. So she borrowed a pistol and shot this village bell. Red Skelton presents Artist and Model. Monsieur Francois? Oh, madame. Where do you carry the battery? <laughs> or is that the kind you plug in the wall? <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, what a lovely studio. Isn't it, though? So? What a beautiful view of the mountains. Well, that's not exactly a mountain. You see, I started a rock garden, but it got away from me. <laughs> Well, I'm a very busy man, very busy man, but what can I do for you today? I'll show you some of my paintings. How do you like this one? Well, uh, what is it? That's for a person with a very imaginative mind. That's a ghost in a snowstorm. <laughs> now, uh, that's very interesting. This? Yes, uh, what, what would that cost? Five thousand wouldn't buy that. I'm one of the five thousand. <laughs> well, here's one I'll give you a bargain on. This is one of the worst things I ever painted. <laughs> Let's try it that way. What's the matter with it? The nose is not right. Why don't you fix it? I can't find it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you know, I would like to paint you. I prefer myself the color I am. Yeah. This gal's got to go. <laughs> I could see you as a, a flower. Yes, I'd like to be painted as a flower. Yes, let's see. What does a century plant look like? <laughs> I'll have you understand, young man, that I've only seen 35 summers. Must have been those hard winters that did it. <laughs> only time she'll ever see 35 again will be on a speedometer. <laughs> This gal helped Paul Revere saddle his horse. How dare you? I did not. You didn't, huh? The British are coming! <gasps> Goodbye, Paul. Give my love to the people in Lexington. Case dismissed. <laughs> I'll paint you as a flower. A beautiful flower in a vase. No, I don't, I don't think so. You haven't seen it yet. Well... You may like it. I <laughs> I painted the one I'm allergic to. <laughs> we'll try something no. else. Uh, I don't think I like that. You do? I'd like to have something that is uh, more like myself. How about a horse? <laughs> I was never so insulted in all my life. No? Never been in a barracks on Saturday night, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm slipping. I'm not the artist I used to be. I'm going to try something new. Covering my face. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Hello. Give me Mervyn's magnificent artist model studio, please. Send a model right over. I'm in a hurry. Who are you? Why, I'm the model you sent for. Well, what kept you? Traffic's heavy. Traffic's heavy. Don't step on those laughs like that. We're going to miss you around here. <laughs> I'm going to try something. <laughs> kind of a girl you could take home to mother, if you could trust father. <laughs> I'm going to paint with mud. Something new. <laughs> New type of surrealism. <laughs> ah! Fini! Well, what in the world is that? I don't know. Somebody might like it. <laughs> I thought you 
thought you were going to paint me. You were measuring me up. I was not. Something's wrong with my thumb. I was trying to find out what was the matter with it. Then what did your sinful model? Somebody's got to wash out this smock. Here, take this box of Tide. You see, Tide gets smocks cleaner than any soap. In case you haven't figured it out, here comes the commercial. Tide is, gets clothes cleaner than any soap, and it's for your whole family wash. Glassware, dishware, linoleum, painted walls, windows, bottles, iron, steel, on track three. <laughs> Now, you go out and rinse this smock out for me, will you? Have it back right away. You don't... Hmm? Go ahead, but I want to tell you something. I use Tide all the time. I know everything you're telling me. Give you two to one. This part won't be in. <laughs> all right, go wash my stuff out for me, will you? You kidding. Do it yourself. <laughs> Give five dollars for an answer right now. <laughs> Skelton Scrapbook. Willie Lump Lump and the Burglar. on her last summer and cut 14 inches of mattress from her back. <laughs> the only time she moved is when we had an earthquake a couple of years ago. Roll her to the other side of the bed. <laughs> Did you know that she was for five weeks talking about the trip? <laughs> Probably tired. She missed her nap today. She slept right through it. <laughs> Clock. I wonder what time it is. <laughs> oh, good night, sleep anyhow. Uh... Stop gritting your teeth. <laughs> well, either somebody's in this house or them mice are wearing horseshoes. <laughs> I'm gonna get my gun. There's somebody in this house. <laughs> I'm back in time. <laughs> hey, stupid! Wake up! Somebody's in the house. <laughs> that kid sleeps like a top, don't you? <laughs> I shouldn't yell at her, though. After all, you are the one I love, sweetheart. <laughs> New perfume. <laughs> Rabbit hutch number five. <laughs> oh, well. Little White Rock will take care of that. Where's my gun? Let's find my gun here. 
Well, they're throwing away. Figure our butt's pretty big these days. <laughs> That's a nice way to go through life. <laughs> Who poured beer in there? <laughs> hey. Hey. Is Reverly, stand up! <laughs> the poor thing's cold. Call the police. There's somebody in this house. Somebody's downstairs. <laughs> Australia? <laughs> See, I did that again in case you went out of the room when I told her before. <laughs> Hello, operator? Number, please. Uh, would you give me the police station? I think I got a burglar in my house. That number is listed in your telephone directory. <laughs> well, look, I got no time. Okay, I'll find it. Let's see. What have you been reading, blockhead? <laughs> Where's my phone book now? <laughs> Didn't they put you out tonight? <laughs> Where's my phone book? Hey, stupid! Where's my phone book? <laughs> that kid's in a rut. <laughs> hey, Sam! You got my phone book over there! <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is on the bed. Good heavens. Phone book. Find a police station now. Cutie pie. It's time to turn over again. <laughs> <laughs> Will you wake up? Oh. <laughs> Operator. Number are you calling, please? I'm trying to get the police department. Would you get it for me? I just hurt my dialing finger. <laughs> At this hour? Hmm? <laughs> both reading the same script. <laughs> Look, I gotta get the police. I think there's somebody in our house here. Where, where did you say I could get that number? Try police emergency. It is listed in your police, directory. Police emergency is listed. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. We've been out here 10 minutes now. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is uh, Fowler, 987106. Try that number. <laughs> to be continued in the next issue. <laughs> Hello? What number are you calling? Look, calling I'm trying out? to call the police! There's somebody in this house. I can feel them. They're here close. Hey, sweetheart, it's time to turn over again. Look, I've got a feeling that I'm being robbed. Would you please have the police department? Could you get me the police department? Please? I'm in an awful hurry. This is an emergency. We all may be murdered in our bed. Goodness, 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 goodness. Put, yeah? Is this real silver? Certainly. Thank you. <laughs> there's something suspicious about him. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something suspicious about him. <laughs> Hello, police department? Oh, thank heaven. Be <laughs> careful, she bites. Yeah. Look, would you do me a favor? Would you? Oh, hello, this is Willie Lump Lump. Oh, fine. How are you? <laughs> Look, I think somebody's robbing my house. Could you come over? It's very important. Yes. 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm at home now. I have a feeling there's somebody in the house. Could you come? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Give my regards to the boys down the tax department. <laughs> Somebody's on my roof. Here, you let my television antenna alone. <laughs> oh! That'll keep you out. <laughs> Sweetheart, 
guy was just in here and stole everything we have. But we still have each other, don't we, sweetheart? We'll get a good night's sleep. Good night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, again, may we thank you for allowing us to come into your living room. And I hope that you had as much fun as I had. It's really a lot of fun to try and make people laugh. Because regardless to what your heartache might have been, while laughing for a few seconds, you've forgotten about it. I've <laughs> Here's that guy that grabs me and pulls me out of the curtain. <laughs> Show has been brought to you by Procter and Gamble's Tide. And remember, always buy two boxes of Tide. One for the cleanest wash in town. One for the pleasantest dishwashing ever.